Our guest is co-chairman of Armenian Assembly of America, Anthony Barsamian. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Sarkis, how are you? A long time we have not touched base, so good to see you. Uh, Armenian Foreign Minister uh, Ararat Mirzoyan uh, delegation, Armenian delegation had, headed by Armenian Foreign Minister is in Washington and had very impressive negotiations with high-ranking high -ranking American officials, including uh, State Secretary. So what do you think, what does it mean in the context of Armenian-American relations, sir? So I'm just back from Washington. Uh, I met with uh, 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 Foreign Minister Mirzoyan, and I know he met with Anthony Blinken, uh, our Secretary of State. I think it's very, very positive meetings. Uh, they signed a bunch of agreements as it relates to nuclear um, uh, nuclear agreements as it relates to Medzamor, uh, very important. I mean, when, when a foreign minister comes to town and is received by the highest level of government in the United States, it sends a message. So I thought those meetings went well. And there were other meetings with high level diplomats, uh, certainly meetings at the State Department. Uh, all those meetings went very well. Meetings between Armenian foreign minister and uh, American state secretary is not usual for uh, relations of these two countries. What is in American officials' mind and uh, when they are talking about strategic dialogue between these two countries, what does it mean? Uh, it means that Armenia is important to the United States. Remember, it is the only de democracy, true democracy in that region. Uh, if you notice, uh, President uh, Biden has not called uh, President Aliyev, and there's a reason for it. It's because he doesn't warrant a call. It's an undemocratic country, and we, the Armenian Assembly, are pushing for Section 907 sanctions to be imposed on Azerbaijan. Um, as you know, there are protests in Armenia. You can't protest in Azerbaijan. Uh, it, it's not allowed, and you, you would get killed if you protest in Azerbaijan. So Armenia is a democracy. It was invited to the Democratic Summit of Nations. Turkey and Azerbaijan were not. So as a result, uh, Armenia has warm relations with Russia, with Armenia, uh, excuse me, with the United States and with European countries. So it's being received very well and it's, it's very important for these uh, meetings to take place at the highest levels. So I commend uh, Foreign Minister Mirzoyan for coming to the United States and holding those high level uh, discussions. Uh, could you please specify the spheres where two countries can cooperate, where American side is interested in? I think you're going to see a lot more technical support between the two countries, a lot more um, uh, uh, government uh, effort to build the economy of Armenia, invest in the economy in, Ar in Armenia, I invest in, the, in a lot of the technical equipment that comes to Armenia. That's very important. I think both uh, Europe United States and even Russia and, and, and Asia realizes that Armenia is a technical brain and they need to work with Armenia because there's great things happening in Armenia on the ground and the U.S. Uh, it wants to encourage that in the region. Uh, you mentioned cooperation uh, between the, these two countries uh, on uh, peaceful uh, nuclear, uh, you know, cooperation. So do you think this is a uh, perspective for Armenia and for America Yes, absolutely. I, I think that on all sectors, especially energy, uh, you're going to see the United States engage with Armenia. Um, and I would love to see all the countries around Armenia engage in, in, in a positive atmosphere. The problem, as you know, Sarkis, is Turkey and Azerbaijan are hostile to Armenia. Uh, they're still using war rhetoric when they should be talking about peace with Armenia. Uh, they want Armenia to be a good neighbor, then start talking like a good neighbor and developing peace. It does not help when the foreign minister of Turkey flashes the gray wolf sign when he's passing an Armenian genocide commemoration in South America. That message is the gray wolves, as you know, is a neo-Nazi organization. They have uh, translated Mein Kampf into Turkish. And if he's flashing that symbol, what is the United States going to do about that? What are the European countries going to do about that? If we're going to have good neighborly relations, if Armenia is going to be a good neighbor with Turkey and Azerbaijan, then they need to, to stop the rhetoric, start building peaceful uh, dialogue, stop attacking Artsakh villages. And actually, Artsakh is there. It's going to be Armenian. Let's not fool ourselves. That is Armenian land. It'll continue to be Armenian land. That being said, 
Aliyev and, and, and Erdogan and anyone else in the region needs to understand that Armenia has a right to exist, has a right to defend itself, and has a right to self-determination. Mr. Barsamian, do you believe that American diplomacy is engaged in Armenian-Turkish ongoing negotiations? And uh, what yes. is your uh, expectation on, on this? I, I expect the United States to be very engaged in that process and to lean on Turkey to do the right thing. Turkey wants to be a mature nation, a democratic mature nation. Unfortunately, it's not acting like that. And if it doesn't uh, demonstrate to Armenia a good neighbor policy, then forget about it. It's never going to work. So if Turkey and Armenia are going to start towards a path of reconciliation, first, they have to recognize the genocide, like all the peaceful nations of this world. Second, it has to stop the rhetoric. And third, it has to stop supporting Azerbaijan in, in uh, military uh, maneuvers as it relates to Armenia. Thank you very much, sir, for this interview. Thank you, Sarkis. Be well.